Today we're going to set up a site in Dreamweaver. Under the Create New menu, select Dreamweaver Site. It's right underneath XML. And we're going to name our site today Wrapper because we're going to build a wrapper using CSS today. The HTTP address is 198.96.86.44 slash tilde graf2024 underscore our account number. Press the next button. And do you want to work with a server technology? No, we do not. Not today. And how do you want to work with your files during development? We're going to edit local copies on my machine. Now how do you connect to your remote server? It defaults to local slash network, but we're going to change that. We want to connect using FTP. So scroll down that menu and select FTP. Now what is the host name? or FTP address, well again it's 198.96.86.44 and what folder on the server do you want to store your files in? Well in our case it's sites, S-I-T-E-S -E and our FTP login is GRAF2024 underscore and then our account number Okay, so your login, FTP login is GRAF2024 underscore, and then your account number, and then you put in your password that I've given you. You can test the connection if you like. And to finish off, we're not going to enable check in and check out. And you can take a look at your settings in this summary. You can see our FTP host there. Make sure that's correct. And then that's it. We're all done. Now we're going to set up our wrapper. Okay. We're going to set up a new document. So under the file menu, select new, and we want an HTML document. What you're looking at is the HTML code, but we're going to work in the design view later on. The first thing we're going to do then is insert a layout object called an AP div. Notice on the right hand side of your screen some panels. We're interested in the CSS panel right now. And when we open that panel up, we can see all the rules. And we're going to click Style. And once we click Style, we'll notice there's an AP Div 1. That's the AP Div we've created. And it starts off with some set properties and we're going to change those properties and we're going to do that uh, in some dialog boxes so what we want to do now is go back and we're going to click AP Div 1 to open up the dialog box so we can change those settings so here we are in the CSS rule definition dialog box and we're going to set our type so under category type, we can change the font. And under category box, we're going to set the width to 660 pixels and the height to 100%. And when you've done that, we're going to work with the margin and what we're going to do is set the top to zero, the right to auto, the bottom to zero, and the left to auto. And then when you're done with the margin, set the padding top to 10. 
Under category block, we can text a line, and we can start off with left. And once you've selected OK, we're done. And we can see the new properties now that we've set. Height 100%, margin bottom left, right, and top, the padding set to 10 pixels, text align to left, the width 660, and we left the Z index to 1. We didn't change that. Now what you could do is in the design view, you can go in and type some text into that wrapper. Welcome to my first web page using a wrapper. And then save that. Now it defaults to untitled-1. And what we want to do is use the word index, I-N-D-E-X and that will be the first page in our website. Now if you remember we typed in our text and it was left justified so what we're going to do now is we're going to change that. So we can go back into our AP Div 1 and select block text align and we'll just change that to center and apply that and save that. We're also going to change the title to our document. You notice at the top of the screen it says title, untitled document. So let's change that. Let's set that to portfolio by me, where me would be your name. And we can save all of that. And the great thing with Dreamweaver is you can view your web page directly from Dreamweaver. There's a globe icon and you can click on that and preview in Safari if you like. And you can see here what your page would look like with the title at the top and some text typed into the wrapper. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.